This is the 19th video in our series looking at how to set up a Google Nest Wi-Fi network. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can give a device that is connected to our Google Nest Wi-Fi network priority access to the bandwidth of our internet connection. Priority access, or as it's more commonly referred to, quality of service, is a feature built into many routers and switches that will allow us to prioritize traffic so that important traffic can pass first. So on a home network, we might want to use quality of service to minimize lag or ensure smooth video playback for a specific device such as a games console or media player. Unfortunately, quality of service on a Google Nest Wi-Fi router is currently very basic. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how it works and the limitations it has. To give a device on our network priority access, we first need to open the Google Home app. Now from the home page, if we select Wi-Fi and then select devices, we will see a list of all devices currently connected to our home network. Within this panel, we have the total amount of data currently being uploaded and downloaded through our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. We also have the individual amounts of data being used by each device on our network. To the right of each device, we have an option that will allow us to pause and restart an individual device's access to the internet. This function is very useful if you do not recognize a device connected to your home network, or if you want to control when a specific device is allowed to access the internet. If we select priority device, we can choose which device we would like to assign with priority access. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to choose our PlayStation 5. At the bottom of the screen, we're now given three options as to how long we would like our PS5 to have priority access. For this example, we're going to choose four hours. We now need to select the tick in the top right hand corner of this panel to set priority access for our PS5. Once returned to the list displaying the devices currently connected to our home network, under the details for our PS5, we can see that this device has network priority for four hours. As giving priority access to our PS5 may adversely affect the speed of our internet for other devices, if we need to end priority access on our PS5 early, we simply need to select End Now. Finally, it's worth noting that while any device connected to our home network can be given priority access, only one device at a time can be assigned with priority access and that access will be limited to one of three preset options. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at how you set up port forwarding on a Google Nest Wi-Fi router.